Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Auto Stories by Level Nation Studios. My name is Lydia and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install any add-on in Blender. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Let's get started. To install any add-on in Blender is quite straightforward and simple and I have about five different add-ons here. I have the Wiggle Post Thumbnail, which was using how to use thumbnails in Blender, one of our tutorials. Then the Lip Sync, how to create automatic lip sync. This was the add-on that was used. Then the Ennet was used during the um, converting air to curves. And then this other one that I, I got, that I bought. So I'll be showing you how you can install each of these add-ons. This for my look quite similar but they are actually different so let's move to blender and i'm going to go to edit preferences and under add-ons this is where i'm going to install the add-on so by default your add-on should look your add-on listing should look this way so to install i'm going to come up here to install so click on it then i'll go to where my add-on is located on my hard drive then i'm going to start with this one this one that has the dot py the py is start from python so this one is quite easy i'll just select it the wiggle bone so the wiggle bone is installed so when you install when your add-on is installed you are going to see that blue information down there and you're going to see the add-on up here and the search menu here will change to the name of your add-on and you are going to it's going to be the only one selected here so you can just select and activate your add-on that's the first one so the second one i'm going to install is i want to select install and select the edits so by double clicking see you see this blue confirmation that it's installed and right here you see edit and here it's also isolated here so that's the second one well installed then i'm going to install the third one which is the import lip which, uh, this add-on lip sync importer so by select the clicking on it i get this blue confirmation information but still i still have nlt here so that means the installation field one thing you should watch out for is it has to be here it has to be isolated here for you to know that it was successfully installed so the lip lip sync importer field so now let me go to the post thumbnail the same thing and let me install the last one which is the um osm open streets map the same thing so i'm going to show you why those other ones failed and why the internet was successful now i'm going to come to my um folder then i'm going to open this internet and show you what we have there so i'll click on open a new window so now this is the internet um zipped file and when you open it you see the internet folder and by the clicking to open it you see the init file this is the um the blender file see this has dot py and this also has dot py this is why it's installed correctly so let me open the uh, lip sync importer so i'm going to right click open a new window so i'm going to open this and you see that this also has a py the reason why this one installed and this didn't installed is because of this init Blender, when you when um, an add-on is zipped, Blender searches for the init file. This one doesn't have init. If this was replaced to init, it's going to install correctly. So any time you have your add-on in a zip file and it doesn't have an init, just extract it. So I'm going to pull this one out. The lipstick importer, I'm going to pull it out. And now I'm going to go to Blender. And click on install this is the lip sync importer this that has the dot py and install so now it has successfully installed so when you have your add-on in a zip file make sure it's actually an init file if it's not an init file it's not going to install just do yourself the favor and extract it from the folder so now i'm going to move on to the post thumbnail um zip file so i'm going to right click on this open a new window so now this also has a folder in it and when you open 
you see that we don't have any init file here we just have the setup and this doesn't look complete so as you can see we have another folder in this folder that says post thumbnails so when you open this you see that you see the init.py file and you see all that file so this folder is the correct folder that has the add-on so you can just extract this this is the post thumbnail which is what we have here so now is that you move this to your installed folder where your um, blender is installed in the add-on folder or you can just right click and re compress it so now it's a zip file post thumbnail.zip now if i come to blender and click on install and look for the post thumbnail which is this and now it's installed so the last one i'm going to install now is the um the open street map the open street map is, is a paid add-on so if i open this now i click open a new window you see that inside this zip file i have another zip file that's another level and when you open this that's when you see the the um the original files so the best thing to do is i'm going to move the zip file out of the main zip file so i'm going to click on this and drag it out so now i have the blender osm so when you open this you see your init file yeah this is the init file so that's this is the most important thing if the init file is not there then drag the py file out of the zip folder so by obviously this blender osm is going to install so i'll come back to blender and click on install and look for the blender osm so by double clicking open street map is an entry installed so that's it for this video hope you've gained one thing or the other from this don't forget to like the video subscribe to level notion if you've not done so and you click on the notification bell to get notified every time we upload videos like this and until next time stay true to your creativity bye bye